Welcome back to Wrestling Flash. In this WWE and all things wrestling video we are going to look at. Roman Reigns losing at WWE SummerSlam exclusive. Major spoiler, Randy Orton spotted with a new look during injury hiatus from WWE. Bailey returns at Money in the Bank. WWE legend on legitimately beating up Brock Lesnar. First let's look at 5 top WWE rumors from this week. Number 5. Backstage details on Roman Reigns vs Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. The beast incarnate Brock Lesnar made his return to WWE television last week on SmackDown. He confronted Roman Reigns and delivered an F5 to him. Soon after, the company officially announced Lesnar vs Reigns in a last man standing match at WWE SummerSlam 2022, according to Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. The return of Brock Lesnar was majorly due to the absence of multiple top stars like Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes. Following injuries to Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes, and blowing off Riddle on SmackDown, the WWE title picture looked empty again, which led to the return of Brock Lesnar said Meltzer. Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar had a lengthy feud between last year's SummerSlam and WrestleMania 38 earlier this year. Fans aren't very happy with WWE once again revisiting the feud. Number 4. Plans for John Cena at SummerSlam 16-time world champion John Cena is set to return to WWE this coming week on Monday Night Raw to celebrate his 20th anniversary with the company. According to Dave Meltzer, the current plan is for Cena to face the United States champion, Theory, at SummerSlam. The company is hoping that ticket sales will pick up for the show once this match is made of it. What will be more notable is after the announcement of the expected John Cena vs Theory will Cena provide the extra box office magic for this show that he did for Raw this week in Laredo. TX for his return. In addition, the heavy promotion doesn't start until after 7 over 2, said Meltzer. John Cena and Theory have been teasing a feud against each other for quite some time now. They've had multiple social media interactions recently, taking shots at each other. Number 3. Triple H might be getting a larger role in WWE. Last week, the wrestling world witnessed what no one ever expected. Vince McMahon stepped back from his position as WWE CEO and Chairman. Stephanie McMahon has since been named the interim CEO and Chairwoman of WWE. New reports have come in about Triple H getting a bigger role in the company. The game was reported to have said I'm back during a recent meeting with talent and officials. Dave Meltzer has now reported that it isn't clear if he'll return to his former role as being in charge of NXT. He also mentioned that this role change might not be related to Vince McMahon stepping down. There had been talk before any of this went down with Vince McMahon that Levesque was going to back in a bigger role shortly so this is likely not related to the investigation. Although the timing would indicate the time of this move could be related in some form. He did indicate that there would be things changing but could not go into detail on them just yet, noted Meltzer. Earlier this year at WrestleMania 38, Triple H officially announced his retirement from in-ring competition. It is to be seen what the future holds for him going forward. Number 2. Bray Wyatt's new ring name possibly revealed. Former Universal Champion Bray Wyatt was one of the most shocking releases made by WWE last year. Wyatt is yet to join another promotion and return to in-ring action. According to the latest report by Wrestling News, he has filed a trademark for Wyatt 6 to sell his merchandise. This has led to speculation that this could be Wyatt's new ring name. Mark 4. Wyatt 6 trademark registration is intended to cover the categories of hats, shirts, sweatshirts, bandanas, hooded sweatshirts. Fans are still hopeful of seeing Bray Wyatt return to WWE someday. Number 1. Major star is favorite to return and win the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble match. Early betting odds have been revealed for the potential winner of the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble match. Currently, Cody Rhodes is the favorite to win the Rumble. Followed by The Rock and Big E, Cody Rhodes is currently out of action due to a torn pectoral tendon and is expected to be away for several months. Royal Rumble would be the perfect platform for him to return and make an impact. Randy Orton spotted with a new look during injury hiatus from WWE. It's been a while since fans saw Randy Orton on WWE TV, and it seems like the Viper is spotting a new look during his time away from the company. The 14-time world champion was recently involved in a tag team called RK Bro with Riddle. The two men won the Raw Tag Team Championship twice before losing a title unification match to the Usos on the May 20th episode of SmackDown. Following the match, it was announced that the Viper was seeing spine surgeons to fix issues with his back. Recently, a fan account on Twitter posted a photo of Randy Orton sporting a new clean-shaven look. This is definitely a change from the mustache and goatee beard he was spotting during his final few weeks on Raw. The former WWE champion posed for a few photos with fans near a swimming pool in St. Charles, Missouri. As noted, the Apex Predator looked to be in fine shape despite his recent injury struggles. Picks from yesterday of a Randy Orton at a pool in St. Charles, Missouri with a few lucky fans. He must have shaved the day before because he had a stash and slight beard growth but here he's basically clean shaven. Well, looks in great shape still. Here's to a fast recovery from surgery bud. Tweeted out the Randy Orton fan account. The 14-time world champion has reportedly had issues with his back for quite some time now and is expected to undergo surgery. Reports previously stated that Orton was in line to face Roman Reigns at SummerSlam, 
but those were eventually canceled. Once it became apparent that Orton wouldn't be available for the premium live event, Brock Lesnar was brought back as a replacement. It has been speculated that Randy has still not gone under the knife to deal with his reported back injury and that he is unlikely to return to the ring this year. As for the plans for his long-awaited feud with Riddle, Dave Meltzer recently reported that WWE's creative team has postponed the angle until 2023. Bailey returns at Money in the Bank Bailey recently shared an image of herself on Instagram hugging the Money in the Bank briefcase. Bailey won the contract back in 2019 and went on to cash in on Charlotte Flair to become the SmackDown Women's Champion. The star has been out with an ACL injury since July 2021 and has teased making her return to the ring several times since the Royal Rumble Premium Live event. Several reports have recently highlighted that Bailey could make her return to WWE anytime soon which means that her latest Instagram update could be a tease regarding next weekend's show. Many believe that Bailey would make her return to be part of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, but this is still yet to be announced. Bailey could make her return the night of Money in the Bank and secure the contract for a second time as a surprise entrant. A few years ago, Brock Lesnar was the surprise entrant in the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match and won the contract after taking it out of Mustafa Ali's clutch. This year's Women's Ladder Match already has Liv Morgan, Lacey Evans, Asuka, Shotzi, Raquel Rodriguez, and Alexa Bliss, with more names to be added. It's unclear if WWE wants to add one or two more participants to the contest. However, if only one is added on Raw, Bailey might be left as a surprise for the night. The Golden Role Model has teased her return to the ring several times but is expected to make her return ahead of SummerSlam, so next weekend's event could be the perfect place. WWE legend on legitimately beating up Brock Lesnar Kurt Angle has downplayed long-standing claims that he beat up Brock Lesnar during their days on the WWE SmackDown roster. The former amateur wrestlers grappled in the ring before a WWE event in 2003. Over the last two decades, various stories have emerged about Angle dominating his WrestleMania 19 opponent in the shoot wrestling contest. Speaking on the two-man power trip of wrestling podcast, the WWE Hall of Famer confirmed he got the better of Lesnar that day. However, rumors about how much damage he inflicted upon the Beast Incarnate are false. I walked up behind Brock and tapped him on the shoulder, Angle recalled. I said, it's time to go. We went and, you know what, the rumor is that I kicked his A. Not true. It was a really close match. I took him down a couple of times. He didn't take me down at all, but it was a pretty tight match. Who won? Kurt Angle. Angle famously won the freestyle wrestling gold medal at the 1996 Olympic Games despite competing with a broken neck. Lesnar also achieved success at amateur level, capturing the NCAA Division I Heavyweight Championship in 2000. Steve Lombardi, also known as the Brooklyn Brawler, worked as a WWE agent during Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle's time on SmackDown. The friendly off-screen competition began when Angle found out how Lesnar responded to Lombardi's question about the possible outcome if they wrestled. The Brooklyn Brawler went to Brock and said, Hey, what do you think would happen if you and Kurt wrestled? And Brock said, I would kick his because he's too small, Angle said. Brooklyn Brawler told me about it and I went up to Brock and I said, If you can kick my A, let's get in the ring right now. According to Angle, Lesnar initially backed down from his challenge. The following week, the Olympic gold medalist watched from ringside as his rival manhandled seven-foot star The Big Show before a WWE event. Moments later, Angle stepped into the ring and Lesnar accepted his request to shoot wrestle. Roman Reigns losing at WWE SummerSlam. Legendary journalist Bill Apter believes that Brock Lesnar may walk out of SummerSlam as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns will clash in the last man standing match at SummerSlam. The WWE Universe may believe that the Tribal Chief has the upper hand in this melee, considering he has reigned supreme in their last two encounters. Hall of Fame journalist Bill Apter disagrees. In his estimation, the Beast Incarnate is rested. Hence, he believes that the challenger will be victorious in the upcoming clash. Despite Roman Reigns having Lesnar's number at Crown Jewel in WrestleMania, Apter feels the result will be different this time around. This is what Sportskeeda's senior editor had to say when quizzed about the upcoming match. Readers must keep in mind that Apter is never one to break kayfabe. I think Brock is well rested and his body in top shape again now. Roman is still at the top of his game but I think Brock's renewed focus on destroying Roman and taking his title will see him victorious at SummerSlam. Brock Lesnar is ready to reign again. Apter said, whether WWE does indeed take this bold step to shake the product up remains to be seen. A substantial portion of the WWE universe isn't excited about the upcoming Lesnar vs. Reigns match at all. They feel like it's the same all song and dance that they've seen time and time again. During a previous interaction, after highlighted why WWE keeps returning to the same well, the WWE Universe can't get enough of him. It's obvious with the reaction of the live crowd in Minneapolis at SmackDown tonight. It's the box office, it's ratings, it's the way to go to SummerSlam. Mind you, Reigns vs. The Rock is still a supposed WrestleMania direction. With that in mind, the company's next step should be fascinating to see.